for us and our love for him and we put our focus on the people or the circumstances that is causing us the problem and the grief and the pain and the heartache and the hardship. And all the time God is good. No matter how hard things may be, God is good. Romans, the eighth chapter. Romans, the eighth chapter. In verse 1, Paul says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. That should be a hallmark of a child of God who is right with the Lord, is a hallmark of walking not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So often, many of God's children are not walking after the Spirit, they're walking after the flesh, and it's evidenced by their hypocrisy. It's evidenced by their unkindness. It's evidenced by their lack of spiritual fruit. Paul says in verse number 24, he says, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Right. Jesse Jackson used to say, keep hope alive. But the last time I checked, hope was not on the operating table of life and death. The book says we are saved by hope. When God's people lose hope, we lose our safety. We lose our salvation because we are hoping for something that is not yet but it is future tense but it is promised by God and it demands that we have hope. Yes. The Hebrew writer said now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. The fact that we can't see it qualifies it as faith and hope and if we're going to be more than conquerors if we're going to be all that God wants us to be we must be a people of hope and I'm not talking about wishful thinking there's a difference between wishing and hope